guys. Uh, so I'm Attila. And I'm Zolt. Hello. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I'm really happy to present in such an inspirational uh, venue. I really like the place and big up to all the organizers. So we came from Hungary. Uh, we are from Possible. And we would like to tell you a bit about a mobile game that took its developer and its creators on a worldwide tour. So have fun and sit, sit, sit back and have fun. <laughs> so all you have to know about Possible CE, it's a part of a global network. We are up and running since uh, 1997. And uh, we were known previously as Carnation, but now we are part of Possible Worldwide for three years now. But you know, I don't want to just get you bored and just I want you to get check out our show reel, okay? So, Powell, please help us out. As you see, we have much kind of digital type of project. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, but we would like to tell you about one specific one, uh, which happened with us for the last eight months, which we can say that was one of the best and most interesting parts of our lives. So it all started with a really unusual client. You know, if you work with brands and it's a digital agency, this is not kind of the most usual client as you, as you see going to your office. His name is I Am Young. He's a multi-instrumental digital producer. He's really famous for his futuristic visions. He plays dreamy electronica. He uses new kind of technology for creating music and uh, he also cares about ta talent. And uh, as, uh, he uh, teaches at the DJ Producer Academy in Budapest. And uh, he planned to release his new LP, The Lost Sounds, in March this year. And so he came to us last year that uh, with this album he wants to be f known worldwide because uh, he filled the venues in Hungary, he had really big gigs and in big clubs in Budapest, but he said that, okay, uh, now I'm known in my country and uh, help me somehow to, to be famous worldwide. And we said that, okay, well, if you have the money, you can just go to MTV or do it like Jay-Z, you know, pay a, lot of, pay a lot of money and go on radio or TV or, you know, just 
uh, go to some kind of like Universal Music or Sony Music and you can release a CD, but um, as he, he's uh, not, not like a uh, mainstream artist, uh, he didn't have the money for that and he didn't want to go like the mainstream way. So we sat down and okay, this can be interesting for everybody. So let's, let's, let's see what we can uh, think about how to get you promoted. As we said, let's create a mobile game based on your album songs. Because kind of, this is unusual, you are an unusual guy, you have futuristic visions, then why not, you know, have it as an extra edition, you know, like a limited edition next to your al album. So when you release your album, we release a game next to it, which takes place in a fully interactive three-dimensional three world inspired by the album songs. And that, and that way we can reach a much uh, wider media, much wider audience, the gamers, the music fans, and the design fans also at one time. And this game will be released on all the app stores, so they will have uh, additional communication on our platforms, so you can tell them about your album on, on these platforms too. Fuck. Mm, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And so uh, it should provide an outstanding experience, but it should stay easy to play even for kids. Because he is a really peaceful guy, and he said he didn't want to have any kind of you know aggressive or monstrous or shooting game. So it should be like an easy, easy to play game, such as his music that you sit back, you 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 sit back at home, you, you enjoy yourself and and just have fun. And the game should really show that. So it shouldn't be scary even for kids. And all this uh, experience should be, you know, less than, hard, less than a price for a cinema ticket. So it should be, like, really all right for everybody. And we said, okay, but we're going to do it, but it has to look good. And that's when Jolt came into the picture, our really highly acclaimed art director. And I'm going to just give him the remote, and he's going to show you some stuff. Okay, thanks. So I am Jolt, a.k.a. Second. This is my nickname. And uh, first of all, sorry, my English is not too good, but I try to, my plan is I will show tons of pictures and I speak less, so <laughs> uh, I try in that way. So I'm the, I'm the art director uh, of, uh, so I'm an art, <laughs> sorry. So uh, I'm an art director, I work in Possible, and uh, uh, I, so I introduce myself. Uh, where is that working? How it's working? Yes. Wait. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a little bit slow. So, uh, so first, I, I just want to say which things I'm I'm inspiring inspired. So I really like uh, everything in pop culture, design things, uh, toys, cool vehicles. Comic books, robots, and these kind of things, and it's, this is the things uh, which I uh, came my art, or I don't know how to say. <laughs> so I'm I'm finished. I'm I'm learned in a, in a drawing school. I'm graduated as a drawing teacher, and uh, first I, I drew a lot of uh, comic book styled uh, drawings. But after the school, I realized that I don't want to. To teach, so I I, I started uh, to work as a freelance graphic designer, and the, most of the times I I do party flyers and uh, posters and these kind of things. So so that's what I do, and I really like this this job uh, because I can draw a lot, and uh, it was really interesting. So that's what that's what, that was the time when I'm uh, started to learn. Photoshop and everything about computing because before that I just draw paper and these kind of things. So, yeah, uh, yeah. And this was the time when he spent all his time in partying because he got <laughs> yeah. all the free tickets for the party. <laughs> yes. So I really liked to draw a, a to, uh, really different words and these kind of things. So, so I really like to do an atmosphere. Or this, uh, or uh, or a small word in a in a in a small paper. So it it uh, was a really good job. And I also like to uh, draw uh, surrealistic things, characters, and uh, 
And uh, because, for example, these, these things I draw, like uh, I just started to do something and I really don't care uh, how it come out. I just, I just draw a draw and, and, uh, and then finally I, I just, uh, it comes out somehow. <laughs> yeah, the brain just comes out. Yeah. So. Try holding it on the yeah. computer. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, after the, the freelancing work, I just, uh, I just feel that I, I can't uh, improve myself. So I need some new challenges. So uh, I have possibility to, to work in, in, in Impossible <laughs> because uh, they asked me to work there. And, uh, and it was a big change because uh, there I need to, to, do, to do web design stuff. And that was a really different thing that I, I'm done before that. So, it was a big change, and at first I'm a little bit afraid, but after a time I, I just learned everything, how to do that. So uh, it was a new challenge for me. And in this company, I have a uh, possibility to do more interesting t stuff also. Uh, for example, games and do characters. It's a little bit slow. Oh, no. Yeah. So. Just like that. That was the, the first game where I'm, I'm helped. And we do, and I, I uh, designed the, the, the key visuals, the, the, the creatives, the splash screen, the characters, and these kind of things. Zandi, you can talk and about a little bit of the game. Of yeah. The game. Uh, My Little Tesco is some kind of a social manager game. Um, you know Tesco because it's here in Slovakia too, and it was a really big success. It was one of the most uh, opened game in that time, and we got several awards for it. And the Tesco is planning to update it and uh, have it with updated features. Um, kids and parents also really like this game. Yeah. Oh. So character design. Uh, I really like characters, as you can see. I, I draw a lot different kind of every, in every try. And uh, in Impossible, sometimes we, we can, I, I can uh, do these kind of things, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, for example, this is a project of us. Uh, it's, a, it's an iPhone case, which uh, can turn to a living toy, or I don't know how to say. It's a special uh, hybrid toy for iPads. So first of all, everybody wanted to have a case for its kids so they don't spill the coffee on it or they don't break the iPad. But we said, OK, let's take it to another level. Let's make the toy interact with an iPad uh, application. And so together, they are having a baby monitor in it, and they are having uh, educational stuff, educational feature in it for kids. So this is Totoya Creatures, and yeah. please carry on and show the other. Yeah, yeah. So I designed different kind of characters for that. For example, this is Yet Yet, a, a, a Yeti. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the final product. And it's really soft and, and uh, made by Plus. And uh, that was a, a really successful thing. In, in the ch with, because the children really like this one because it was soft, uh, and I designed another one which which is m much more high tech. It's working. Yeah, this one. This is Roboto. This is a a more futuristic robotic thing, but uh, that wasn't so I don't know popular because uh, of the materials which we use. So yeah, this is the final product, but it was more, uh, you know, cocoa safe. But kids liked the yet yet more because it was more fluffy. You can more cuddle it, and it, it looked like much more like a uh, default or standard toy. Yeah, and uh, this is our latest one. Oh no, this is not the latest one. This and we are made a whole product. So the 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 packaging also, the we made. Uh, Smaller one with, for the iPhone, and, and so many different versions. And this is the, the, the latest, which is all, now it's only, only a prototype, but we are working on it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a newer one, so 
it, the difference is that now he can stand alone, and uh, now we use the, the monitors also. This is the prototype pipe. So we have a hole for the monitor, and now it's can working as a baby monitor. So it's a little bit different. And uh, this is our other other uh, project when we, when he created the character. Yeah, uh, this is one of our our most famous character. Uh, he is Jojo. Uh, he is a mascot for a company which is a, I don't know how to say maybe the the Hungarian eBay or something like that. Uh, they they wanted to a mascot and we was the agency who created it. And first, uh, they ask uh, Hungarian puppeteers to to design a, a, a mascot, but uh, the final result was that, and uh, none of us like them. The cli client. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so the client really don't really like it. So that was the time when I'm step in and uh, and I need to to design uh, from from zero, and these this was the the first sketches and uh, immediately f in the in the right ones are 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 was was friendly and 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 the client also liked them so we uh improved that uh so after i made uh, a lot of versions and uh, that was the final uh product Final uh, sketches, so we we need to to do the the puppet also. Yeah, so we made two different versions, but after we see seen these versions, it wasn't hard to, to decide which one is better, so we choose the the right one, and this is the final puppet in a TV commercial. So actually, it became a TV star with, with music and everything. Yeah, and uh, it became a big success. So everybody liked the the character. Uh, we after a time, it was a star in Hungary. So we, we, the the company started to to sell the puppets, the toys, and uh, we made a huge mascot also from the from the. Character and after a time we, we made it in in 3D. So now in the commercials there there are 3D version of the character. Yeah, but guys, you can ask why are we telling as much stuff about characters? Yeah. So, so where we are, yeah. We are in Disneyland. We want to, <laughs> yeah. We want to talk about uh, Poco Echo. Yeah, less sounds. Let's, let's try to stand on that. Then yeah, maybe, maybe. It, the remote will work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah. So, we I have the well, we have the the plan, uh, we have the concept, but we need some visuals, and we have uh, uh, ideas what what we want to do, and. Uh, we have we have favorite games, so that was the start. We 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 inspired from from our our favorite games, which are which has uh, some usual uh, visual uh, visual a, spe a special visual <laughs> special visual effect, special feeling, or this kind of thing. So so yeah, for example, we really liked the the, the journey and the and the Monument Valley games. So we started with, the, with to, to 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 design the character, the main character. We we, we made a, a super secret uh, Pinterest board, and uh, we just collect all of the pictures, all of the the characters which we like it. So we have plans how Poco Echo needs to be look like. So we 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 want some some tribal uh, ancient. Uh, character, which uh, is a little bit like a, like an adventure character, like Zelda or something like that. But at the same time, there is a small uh, futuristic uh, part of it. So I started to draw, and this was the first sketches. I made a 
a, mo a little bit humanoid uh, version and a little bit more uh, alien. Yeah, alien or, or unusual <laughs> body. <laughs> and uh, the right one was the was the was the better for everybody. Even young like that's better. So I I, I try to continue to, to with this one. Uh, but uh, the comments was that uh, it's too too Asian or too 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 tribal. So I we try to to bring back the music. So that's why he has a, a, a Walkman. Walkman, yeah, <laughs> with 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 earphones and these kind of things. And he has a bag, <laughs> also. So so and after we, we realized that we can use this 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 uh, this Walkman and and after we we use that in the in the storyline also. So after we ha when we when we had uh, the f the main character, we we planned that we will. Uh, uh, made four different words, which connected to the music. So we we planned that uh, we will made one word for the for the bass, one word one word for the for the treble, one word for the drums, and one word for the voice. And uh, this is the the logo for the four uh, words. four different words. So as you can see the. The true triangles are the bass and the treble. The 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 circle is the the rhythm, and the and the wave is the the sound, the the voice. So and every world has us as a separate, uh, unique uh, god, for for the for the uh, low noises, it's called it, so so for the bass for the for the low sounds, it's called it low bass. It's a big, huge grizzly. It's a little bit ghetto styled, <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's because the the sound it's a little bit bigger, a little bit fat. The other god is uh, this is for the treble, for the for the uh, high pitch volume. Yeah, yeah, for the high pitch volume, uh, it's 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 a it's an ostrich. It's called an oshi. Uh, this is for the for the rhythm or the yeah for the rhythm. It called it bath. It's a it's a bath. It's, it's a, a deer. Deer, yeah. And uh, the fourth god is a secret, so you need to play the game to 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 find out. <laughs> uh, after we had we has the characters, we we try to continue to to with the with the with the uh, with the word art. So we do the same with that. We just uh, try to inspire it from the world. We we collect uh, many ancient, many uh, exotic places, uh, different kind of uh, buildings or, or ruins, and we have also a, a secret Pinterest. <laughs> and uh, beside, when the the guys started to to thinking about the the game design, how it will be work, how it will be. Playing, so I I have time to to draw a lot. I I have a wall, so I I, I put everything to the wall. What I'm what I'm sketched. So after a time, it it will it 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 uh, it will it get be full with with uh, different kind of drawings. So so that was the the first sketch. What I'm done. Uh, my idea was that I, I wanted to to just I wanted to just cut out things from the world and I'm put in in a, in, the, in a space. So just when where Poco is walking, there is something, but the other things are are empty. So it's a little bit surrealistic, and and I think it's an exciting world, but most of the guys in the in the in the office didn't like it. So. I stopped that. After I, I start, started to draw something different, uh, I, I, I also started thinking about the game design, how how it can be interesting or how how it uh, can work. But uh, it it takes a long time to do that. So so I realized that it's not the right thing to do in that way. 
So I changed my mind and, and I started just sketching. So in black and white, sometimes in pencil or sometimes in, in, in uh, with computer, but, but I didn't want to, to spend too much time with, with the level. So I, I started to draw the key visuals. So we, ha we had uh, uh, 12, I think 12 levels. We have and 12 levels for the four, four gods, three levels for each god, so it's 12 levels. Yeah, so I, I just started to draw, and I, and I make one drawing for every level, uh, maybe two. <laughs> and uh, when I'm finished, and everybody like it, just after I, uh, I, I started to, to make the details, to, to find out the colors and everything. Uh, so in the, in the final concepts, I, I, I try to, to do re a really different uh, visual for every, every, every uh, level. And I try to bring back these, these musical instruments, these musical uh, equipments, so like speakers, drums, drumsticks, uh, guitars, or these kind of things. So I try to put everywhere. Yeah, this is the, this is another <laughs> concepts. So I, I made one concept for, for a level at first time, and uh, with that, the, the 3D designers can imagine how it will, how it must be look like, and he started to think about the models and these kind of things. Uh, yeah, this is also some. And uh, beside that, I, I started to draw the, the, the equipment, the, the, the stuff which the main character use, the, the animals, so the whole environment. Uh, and after, I, when, I, when, I, when I finish all of the drawings and I don't have work, uh, somebody uh, to, uh, asked me that, did I want to, to do the, the, the models also? So I never used the uh, 3D because I just drawing, but uh, it sounds good. So I started to learn Cinema 4D, and uh, after a time, I, I started really enjoy the, the things. So I don't have plans to, to make uh, moving things. I just want to do the static elements of the game, but uh, it, was, it was fun. So uh, I started to do more try more complicated things after a time and and the final i, I also uh, learned how to, to to texturize the the models and these kind of things so at final i'm i think i'm i i learned a lot so and i really enjoy do this low poly stuff so so this is the one of the 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 the, the my latest models, and this is the final look how in the game look like. So, yeah, the developers are put many things to it. So, yeah, this is the, the final look of the game. Uh, I think it's really nice at the end. <laughs> and uh, we also made the, 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 the UI, of course. We try to do something uh, unusual in that part also. Uh, some of the, uh, the guys said in the company that nobody will recognize which button is that for. So, so but I, I want to do unusual things. So I try to, to, to do those kind of buttons, those kind of uh, uh, things which are unique and, and unusual. We also made a, at, at first when I designed the character, I, I, I realized that it can be good for a paper toy, and I'm a big fan of uh, uh, designer toys, so it was obvious for me to, for, to do that. Uh, so when we are ready with everything, we do uh, a paper toy, and we made it also in a bigger version. So you can download it in from, the, from the site or the Facebook page, and you can do your own Poco Echo. So that was eight months, it was super. Eight. It was eight months, as you can see, I am young was all the time right beside us. We had much meetings with him because we wanted the game to be inspired by his uh, musical world, inspired by him, and we had really much fun doing the game. And 
So, um, can we have a video about the game? So the story is that, uh, so now we say the game and just to say some, some words about the story. So Poco Echo is, uh, he's, chosen from a he's chosen from a tribe of the Pocos and they are living without any sound or any, any beat because they lost it in the ancient times. So they are living in total silence until one day Poco finds a Walkman and he realizes that sounds are existing on, in his uh, unusual world too. So the adventure begins. And uh, Poco's uh, quest is to, he has to journey through 12 levels, 12 animated stages. And he has to collect key samples from, the, from I Am Young's LP, The Lost Sound, which actually comes free with the game purchase. So you can download it to your iPhone when you purchase the game, or you can listen to it, and you can listen to the songs building up uh, key by key while you are playing. And that's how he gets back the sounds. And uh, you build up. Uh, the LP songs uh, with each level completion. So first you start with the bass and then the treble and then the drums and then the voice. So the game was released for iOS in March and then in April to Google Play and to Amazon. But okay, we said that the game is ready and now what? I mean, we spend much time and then you know, we had the, the brief, the initial brief from I Am Young that make, make me world famous, make the game world famous. And, you know, you don't release just a mobile game and then wait for the millions and, and you, ha you, have to, you have to promote it somehow. So we have a special content crew, a special division of guys who are content hackers, social media experts. And uh, we went into action and took all the efforts to make everybody know about Adventures of Poco Echo. Uh, so what we did we had for the press, what we had for the gaming press and for the designers, so we had the game, okay, it's cool, but we want to reach further than, than hardcore gamers, so we want to reach parents and child and, and children. And we had an artist, but you know, remember his initial goal was I want to be known worldwide, so nobody knew, knew who I Am Young was and nobody wanted to pay for, for something like that. But we had the luck that we could have Mr. Kanye West promote our game and we didn't have to pay him too much to get him to do it. Just before the soft launch, we had, he had an epic idea, but he was too late, that he stated in the radio show that he wanted to game, make a mobile game, a mobile adventure, upon his album. So he had the, the, the upcoming single, The Only One, a, co a collaboration with Paul McCarthy and Cartney, and he planned to make a mobile game on this. And we said, okay, so what headline we should use for what would be more compelling for an editor. A Hungarian studio released a new mobile game. Game developer six months ahead of Kanye West. Okay, so you can guess which one we choose to communicate about the game. Yeah, we said, okay, we're gonna use Kanye West because he wanted to steal our idea, so we're gonna go with that to the press. And our key message was that, okay, I released, released a mobile game for a new music album, and Kanye West came, out, came up with the idea six months after us, so, so we are super innovative, even more innovative than Mr. Kanye West. And so what did we do about music fans? Because we needed young fans all over the world to get to know about it, and we organized a special album launch party which was themed with Poco Echo, then when this little guy, big guy debuted, and uh, can we see that video, please?
And so imagine a party, a club full of people, like 500 guys, you know, having this visual up, uh, synchronized to the music, and 500 guys not going to the toilet, not going to the bar, they're just watching, like, you know, like amazed. It was like such a great experience for us that this was the first time that the public saw the game, you know, when we could have their reactions, you know, not like when they don downloaded the game to their mobile phones. So it was, it was such a great experience to, to, to see people like the visual, like the experience so much. So we felt like, yes, this, this is what we wanted to achieve. And also, okay, we said that what we're going to do about design fans, and that's when one of uh, Central Europe's most famous street artists came to us in an email that he likes the game so much that he wanted to make a graffiti and can we make some kind of uh, inspiration for him? And then uh, one more video, please. I, I promise this is going to be the last. This is how you reach design fans who are not so hardcore gamer, gamers, but uh, as they see the game visually on their platform, on their family friendly platform, like on the graffiti, they can get easily hooked back. So, what about the results? You know, I mean, okay, we had some hype, we had some, we had some parties, and we, and we had some releases, but let's see how the, how the game really worked out. I mean, if it was really worth to do it. So, it became, after the soft launch, the first uh, number one paid game in Hungary. Which was, which, was, which was unbelievably cool. Um, it, after three days after the global launch, uh, three weeks later, uh, it was featured in the App Store as a beautiful indie, indie puzzler. Great. It was uh, selected by iTunes App Store as the best of March. It was uh, with Mr. Jump and Angry, Angry Birds Telepop and other, other games which were known worldwide. So Poco was mentioned among these. 
And for t until today, we have 200 plus features reviews from 50 plus countries. These are not paid reviews. We had on, in the promotion, we had one general rule. We, uh, we believe in the game. We know that the game is good. We know that the game is futuristic. We're not going to pay for any kind of reviews. Maybe a redeem code for the, for the journalists, but, but this is completely unpaid for free. They liked it. They wanted to play with it. And sometimes even they just sent us one, uh, one feature or one review that, hey, we did it. If you want to, you can share it. But we like the game very much. So it was, it was super. The Behance uh, Joltz uh, case study uh, from Behance made it to the front page, and it was picked by Adobe for the inspiration. Is uh, we went to some TV shows in Hungary, uh, in Romania. It was featured in New Zealand and in Aust Australia in uh, in, in uh, TV shows. And for today, we have 18 professional awards in internationally, uh, among them the D one DNA DP pencil, one Grand Prix of the Golden Blade Festival in Hungary, and one Golden Hammer. We did it in New York, we did it in Kiev. Uh, we, were, we got the Gold Award for Pop Pocket Gamer. And this week, we had the bronze category, the bronze award in the mobile category in the Cannes Lions, uh, which is super great. This is this is the this is the best award which we could which we could even dream of to to get for the game. That they really like the futuristic idea and all the inspiration in it. And this couldn't have been done without our super team of of designers, the level designers, the three D modelers, and of course I am young who cannot be here, but. Poco Echo is his, his ghost now, and he travels the world. And uh, he wanted to be uh, known worldwide, so actually he did it. So he starts, I guess, in July or, or mid-August, his uh, worldwide tour, starting in England and then going to Japan and then to the US. So actually, uh, the global community knows now uh, lo uh, previously only locally known music producer through a mobile game. So this really works. That it works. So get the game, guys, or play it on Fire TV. Feel free to, 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 uh, to play with it. And uh, see you in space. This is a sneak peek of our upcoming game, global premiere. Yeah, please uh, keep your eyes on it, because I guess it's going to get launched in a soft launch in one or two weeks. So, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. And I hope it wasn't too long or stuff like that. <laughs> how, how much minutes did, 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 did it consume? Yeah, oh, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> so, we have a couple of minutes left for a question. So, if you have questions now, it's a good time. Okay, so I have to ask, uh, you mentioned Kenya West, right? Did he play the game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, we contacted him on his Twitter, but he, you know, he, he, he is like, uh, until you don't uh, transfer him some money, he won't reply, he won't, he won't look at it. So we didn't care about that. We just knew that we are ahead of him. The direction which we thought up our idea is good, because if Kenya West comes up with it, it shouldn't be so bad. So. We were reassured that, that, that this idea could work. This is a good idea. Yeah, and also you mentioned the new game. The new game will, will be released on mobile devices. Yes, yes, mobile. Mobile first on iOS, and then it's gonna it's gonna work like we did it in Echo. First on iOS, and then on Android. Who will do the music? We have one musician who is doing it because he asked us after the launch in April that if, he have, if we have any further game releases, he wanted to join. So we are already co-working with him. So we have already, already a built-in musician in it. All right. So any more question from the audience? Uh, have you considered making a, either a console version or something that could be played on like a bigger screen? Yep, we have it on, uh, as we released it on, on Amazon and on Kindle Fire, we have it on Fire TV. You can play it right here, so you can play it with a, with a console. And uh, Google Tango uh, contacted us last week, and uh, he wants to have it on his new kind of uh, Android, uh, like you can uh, control it with the mobile, with the gyroscope. And also we were contacted by Oculus Rift, so it's going to be played maybe on Oculus Rift, but it's still under consideration. Thank you. 
Uh, Any do question? You do, do you have an iOS device? Or, uh, I, I don't see this, sorry. This is a, oh, okay, so here we go with the redeem code. So maybe it's some inspiration for Q&A. So I have four more, four more redeem codes, so you can try Pokeco for free if you have so many questions. So. No, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.